Imadze maybe already found a hole in Stabler's game, but Stabler looking for a drag. Imadze looking to pass him through, it seems like. Reach around back. Well, we'll have the advantage of Lamadze, who will know the style of Stabler a lot more than Stabler will know Lamadze. That is, that is true. Stabler's got great arm drags, great control ties. As you see, he's yanking on the arm of Lamadze, but Lamadze knows it's coming. The question is, when he gets tired, if he gets tired, will he be able to fend off Stabler's consistency with those arm drags? Lamadze dancing forward. <laughs> Like you said, looking for a nice arm throw. The referees want to call that a slip. Don't have to, Lamadze gets up on his own. Seems like Stabler could get called for passive, but Lamadze's head's down. Referee goes head up. Stabler called for passive. Let's hear the boos from the crowd. Nothing, a lot of respect for Lamadze. See if he, if he could use his length on the experience Frank Stabler, lift him up, score some big points. A lot of Georgia fans in the crowd as well. You see some uh, red crosses hanging. Oh, Lamadze. Gets him up, looking to, looking to gut wrench him. Stabler looking to step over, gets his hips up, but doesn't expose the back of Lamadze. Stabler gets. Was it two points? Didn't look like Lamadze exposed, but. Yes, 2-1, pulling it well. That's welcome the crowd up. Stabler likes where he's at. Got called for passive, scored, is up now 2-1. It's a good place to be. But Lamadze looking for that, probably looking to set up that arm throw again. Stabler doing a good job keeping his elbows in, pushing forward. Might try to get Lamadze put down, see a straight lift of his own. Lamadze again with that pass by attempt. There he goes, he's still doing it. Maybe baiting him for something else. A lot of ifs in this match, but very exciting ones. Stabler looking for a reach round of his own. Well, it's supposed to keep the heads up, referees say. Crowd looking to call blue for passive, but with 35 seconds left in the period, doesn't seem like the referee can do that. Or they choose to do that. Stabler again with that drag attempt. Good for moving Lamadze around, but not good enough to score. There's the pass again by Lamadze. It's bound to work one of these times. And Stabler is so experienced. Lamadze again with an arm throw attempt. That's his bread and butter. Well, some of the some of the audience have their views. A late call given to Stabler. It seems like time was out. Are they looking to challenge it? And they won't. Well, I think this is the best atmosphere we've had so far. Absolutely. You got Stabler's uh, fans, and you got you got Lamadze's action. You got Stabler's action. Powerful combo there. It didn't look like Lamadze gave up exposure in that replay. <laughs> but then again, referees were closer, they were there. Say 72 kilogram gold medal match, second period, 2-1. 3-1, sorry, Stabler. Lamadze going in, head down right away. Maybe looking for that slide by, pass by attempt again. Could be baiting Stabler for something. Pull out one of those wizard sleeve tricks, or wi wizard tricks that he's uh, hit this whole tournament. A lot of his moves has come, have come out of nowhere. Two and a half minutes to uh, maze us again here. Let's see if Lamazza can put something together. And Stabler consistent. Drags power, runs back to the center. 
Says, come on, come on. Says, I want more. He's, he's so revved up, isn't he? Unbelievable. left in the gold medal match. And then Madze put down again. Can Stabler end it here? 6-1, you need eight point margin to win. I believe in his match against Kurak, he lifted him three times. So Stabler looking like he could potentially end this one right here. Can Madze defend? Let's see. Putting pressure on that lock, trying to not let Stabler get his body off the ground. But Stabler's so strong, he stands up with him. And Lamadze up to his feet. Wow. Amazing. Amazing job here by Lamadze, but Stabler's still pushing the pace. Got a little more gas in the tank than Lamadze. Lamadze is very tricky, though. Well, this is their first bout today. They have an appeal. Curious, what's this for? Time? You saying you pushed him out? Or, or maybe he's just, no, 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 he said, I don't want it. Maybe he's trying to get a breath. He's clever. <laughs> Lamaz is just in it for the game. The Georgian coach maybe trying to get by him a few seconds there. Referee confused, saying, what's, what's wrong? Well, that's about two minutes of relaxation time. No one knows what's going on. All the refs are confused. The scoreboard, I guess, is not working. That, that might be it. So this side scoreboard has uh, seemed to have a problem. Let's reboot it. Even some time for the athletes to reboot. Lamadze getting some air back in his lungs. They said they got one working scoreboard right here, but Georgian's not wanting to start until both are working. Seems like we've got it back. So, minute 17, 6 1 in Stabler in the Reds' advantage. Lamadze looking a lot more active now that he's got some air in his lungs. Grab Stabler's head there. Lamadze moving Stabler real well. Stabler again looking drag. That forward and back motion is what make, makes Lamaze so dangerous. You never know when you're gonna, when he's going to be there and when he's not. When he manages to push Stabler out of bounds, he's going to get cautioned. Georgian coach wants a caution, but the ref not, ref's not going to give it to him. 6-2, 30 seconds to go. All it takes is one more of those arm throws and Lamadze can take it. I wonder what's going through his head right now. He's got a score, but Stabler keeping very good position. Eight seconds remaining. Will he give up before the time's out? Yeah. And Stabler takes it home. Doesn't have to, his home's here. <laughs> He's got a lot of his fans, a lot of his uh, biggest supporters coming out to Rome to watch what him. What a great it. match is this. Frank Stabler still number one. He's still got it. Lamaze showing that he's got something too. 